put them on 14. Uh, before we get started here, as you see, we're back on uh, <laughs> chess.com. Oh, before we get started here, allow me to help my, do myself a favor without the fact that we're live. That's what we're going to be doing today, though. But in order to tweet out I'm live, I've got to go to my Twitter. And uh, yeah, sometimes Twitter will recommend some uh, some so uh, NSFW stuff. So Also, I can mute my screen while I'm over here. Yeah, I'll send up this little tweet. And then we'll basically switch right back to chess.com and keep going. So, also sometimes a Twitter will ask you, me to verify my phone number. So, definitely don't want that on screen. <laughs> Docs myself. So, Oops. abundance of caution. Being just chatting for a second. <laughs> that I have had Twitter do that. Just randomly ask like you to verify. Like, oh, is this your phone number? Is this your email? <laughs> is this your address? You. We just want to make sure it's you, you know, so. Yeah. All right. Oh, that is tweeted out. But, um, oh, yeah, last time I did this, I remember, I think I even, hmm. Yeah, I think what I did is I made a separate window like this. And then, um, yeah, that way, as far as the chat goes, I can just kind of over here and, and, and maybe, yeah, that's fine, right? Well, basically, I'm going to switch these windows where my stream will be on the right. That way, if there's any commentary or whatever. And this is on the left. And then I pull up Studio and make sure the one being captured is the right one. Uh, yeah, chess.com, yeah. Okay. All right, and then we should go back to gameplay. Good, good. And you can't even see the other window. So, um, and again, I don't want my face to block the uh, chessboard. <laughs> so let's just see how this looks um, before I make the board bigger. Uh, so yeah, let's play a 10 minute game. And uh, yeah, eventually, right now we're like 571, I think, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, 571. Um, and let's just, uh, Starting soon. Okay, so we're we're black. Uh, this one, so on this game. So let's see what happens once the timer starts. You know, it's for real. So am I blocking the board? Kind of. I'm only blocking the square of the rook, and honestly, I think that's fine. You know, um, I'm sure I could do something on the overlay, as far as you know, like moving my camera to the left or like up here, or whatever. <laughs> but um. I think honestly this looks fine. You know, the main thing is I want you guys to be able to see like, oh, you know, here's the board and these are the moves that are being made. Um, so no moves have been made. Now I, I don't think like any rating will be taken um if a move's not made here in five minutes. Um if we do get rating points from this, I'm not gonna count it for the evaluation. So game awarded, let's just go new to ten minutes. And um, play some more chess. Yeah. So okay, so there there's a game August. Okay, they are five twenty nine. So wish me luck. I think I'll start with this opening. A little bit different, but we'll go with this. So. Yeah. And um, basically, what I'm doing is kind of a waiting move, and we're gonna see what they do about the center. Okay, that's a good move. Um, let's move. Let's just attack this pawn right away. So, there you go. Also, we are getting, like, you know, that knight off the back rank. So, getting ready to castle this way, kind of. Now, what I'm going to do for this bishop is actually shut it down right away. 
so the best way to do that is actually right here. Um, a move I normally would want to play anyway. And then next move, a fork right here. We just move the pawn up. And yeah, that's the nice thing about moving it right there. Now that's not too bad of a move. But let's again, let's fork this uh, bishop. And no matter what happens, looking pretty good. So um, now was that the best move? Eh, probably not. But, you know, now there's pressure on the bishop. And um, yeah. So uh, they'll probably slide it, you know, here or put it in, you know, or wherever. So, yeah, yeah, that's a good move, kind of. Um, but the problem for them is, is I can, you know, develop this bishop, uh, which I kind of want to do anyway. Or I can chase it away with the pawn here, and then it would basically have to come back here. Um, so I think I will move the pawn because uh, it also kind of helps to shut down the knight. From where it would normally want to go so yeah we'll just go ahead and move right here and honestly that looks pretty good to me you know that that bishop i mean they moved it early but it's kind of there are some long-term weaknesses on this side uh since i moved this pawn but you know honestly just shutting that bishop down is kind of kind of good for us uh, and again that that is that's the best spot probably not um one thing i can do here is uh yeah move the knight right here and again, that kind of does what I was talking about. You know, we keep shutting the bishop down. Um, yeah, let's just do it. Let's move the knight here. Um, you know, and then it kind of cuts the bishop off. Now, will they take it? They might. They might. You know, and if they do, that's fine. Uh, yeah, and they just decided, you know what, the knight's kind of annoying. So there we go. Uh, generally, toward the end of the game, the bishop will be better. But, you know, that's fine. All right. We get that out of the way. Um, now I want to go. Let's develop this bishop. I'm thinking right here is good. So that's good. Is now their turn. And then next move, I'm just gonna castle. You know, just kind of get my king out of the middle, and we'll go from there. So castle, and they're probably gonna castle too. So that's to be expected. Um, let's see what they do. Um, okay, so again, they're offering kind of a trade here. Uh, basically, their knight's going to get to move in. Um, you know what? I will take it. Let's just take the trade. Um, I don't really think I want the, or need this bishop for anything too big here. So, yeah, let's just take the trade. Um, I don't know which knight they'll move in. But um, if it's this one... It's actually not too bright. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say it's not too bright because, uh, yeah. Now, one thing I am going to do here is pin this knight to the king. Because if we do that, it actually puts some pressure on this knight to be immediately taken by our queen. See that right there? So let's move this one. Um, and I don't know what what white's going to do. Maybe, maybe they'll castle. I mean, that's a pretty good move. But um, for now, we'll just keep piling up on this knight right here. Uh, that's, you know, that's an interesting move. Um, it kind of deals with it and lets them potentially castle a uh, queen side. The problem for them is, is I can just keep piling up here. So um, let's move the bishop here. And again, I'm just, I'm basically threatening to, um, um, and again, what what I'll do is actually just take this, and they they can take with the knight, but I'm basically threatening to. Yeah, I think that's what I should do is go ahead and take this with the queen, and if they take my queen, I can take their queen. Um, but no, instead I will just move this right here, and basically just threaten to take the knight for free. And it's kind of a weird move putting their queen right here in front of the king. Because if I get rid of this knight, you know, somehow, then the queen is pinned to the king. So that's, I don't know. Yeah, I, I guess that does defend. Um, uh, Again, it, it does create some long-term problems for them. I think what I should do now is develop um this knight. Um right here 
Yeah, right here. Now, I would expect this move to come next. If they do do this, I will take the knight just to uh, free myself up here. Castling, okay, okay. It's honestly a good move. Gets their king out of the center for them. Um, what I'll do now is, well, actually, this is perfect. Since, since our king's on this side and their king's on this side, I'm actually going to start doing something that's kind of called a pawn storm. So we're basically just going to send these guys in. But first, I'm going to pile up more pressure on this knight. So we're going to move knight right here. Yeah. So, again, we're just piling up on this, you know, basically saying like, hey, you got to do something about this or, you know, we're getting a free knight and, and some free pawns in the process. So Because we've got one, two, three. Yeah, see, that's not a bad move. Um. What's interesting about that move is, well, we are in check, so I have to take the um, the knight. The problem for them is, once I do this, the queen's under attack, so and and the knight. So, you know, that's kind of bad for them. That's an okay move, but it's not going to stop what's about to happen. So, we'll just take this with the bishop. You know, that knight's down. Okay, and they get that. But in the exchange, in the fallout, we can, again, put pressure on this queen. Um, and the best way to do that is, let's move right here. Well, actually, let's put the king in check real quick. Um, I don't think this opens up too many tactics. But, yeah, let's just put this king in check right here. And see what happens. So, all right, they may block with the rook or whatever, but okay, yeah, yeah, smart move. Um, what I'll do now is again, we just want to add pressure to this pawn, so we just drop the queen back. And this queen kind of has the what well, doesn't have to babysit, but this pawn is really under attack, you know. Also, having the queen over here is kind of nice to defend. Um, just kind of defend some stuff their queen can do way over here, you know. But basically, I'm just saying, hey, I'm going to take this pawn or, you know, what are you going to do about it? So, um, okay, so we would get a pawn and then, okay, that's fine. Um, and again, this is a pretty good move here. Basically, the same thing, man. Um, what we're saying is, like, we're moving this here, but what we're saying is, hey, <laughs> you know, again, this pawn's pinned. I guess it could take right here, but <clears throat> yeah, that's the smart move is just to push by. So, you know, um, but now our, this pawn is free to just kind of roam around in here, which I kind of like. Um, so let me move this rook up right here. And we're going to create a battery right here to just kind of control this row. Uh, I do have to watch out for their queens, so, okay, that's pretty fine. Um, let's just do this. Um, and yeah, we'll let their rook come to control this file, but, you know, that's not too, uh, dangerous right now or anything. Um, I can put the king in check. It doesn't really do too much, but let's just go right here. Okay. And let's see if there's any tactics available here. So again, we're still piling up here. Good move for them, though, because not only did that take that, I guess it captured, um, it kind of defends this, what I'm trying to, what I've been trying to do, <laughs> you know, for the last few moves. Um, that's an interesting move. It definitely weakens their king side. Um, so I will go right here. Yeah, I will go right there. So again, that this is pretty a pretty wild series of moves. Um, I'm actually gonna go right here, just slowly, because um, this rook might become overworked here pretty soon. Okay, and then again, we'll just stay put here. Uh, one thing I can do is attack both this rook and the pawns behind it. Um, so let's move the queen here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, let's move the queen right there. Okay. 
and see if they notice what's what we're trying to do here. Now, the smart move you may say would be to push the pawn. Um, but yeah. Okay, so they just moved right there. So what I can do is actually push by, kind of like they did. Uh, you basically shut down these pawns temporarily. And I'm also just threatening to take this, you know. So, you know, and have their queen forced to come down here, which would take it off this rank. So, or a file. So, there's that. Okay, they're just going to move forward. So, yeah, let's move forward. Take that. They'll probably take back with the queen, right. But then we can just do this. And then there should be an interesting tactic right here. So, yeah, let's take this. Okay. All right. And then mm, I might have misplayed that. I don't know. But take this rook. Right, and they can't take with the rook. Or I just, yeah, 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 you see. That's the tactic I was talking about. We take their queen, and they're in check. So pretty interesting series of moves right there. Uh, ooh, and that's a bad move because we're going to fork the rook and the king. And we're kind of heading toward the end of the game now. I guess I have to watch out for the timer. They could win by that. But uh, and not looking good for them. Let's go here. All right. And yeah, not looking good for white. Um, Yeah, let's just go here. Um, right here. Yep. All right, so they get that pawn for free. I should have kept an eye on that, but uh, we'll just take over here. And the nice thing, nice thing is the queen has a long range, so I really don't have to worry about anything happening down here. Because you see, I just slid it, and then yeah, yeah. So um, let's go here. I probably should speed up my timer now. Um, okay, that's not too bad of a move from them. Um, I will just keep going over here. Uh, now, the king can help this pawn promote. It's just, yeah, I don't think it'll be able to help in time. Um, let's see here. And in fact, if I move in here, what's the king going to do? I don't think he can do anything. Um, yeah, if I just kind of move right there and block it off, I don't think they can promote. So that's the weakness of double pawns on the rim. Yeah, you never want that to happen. Um, We'll definitely get this pawn out of the way. Interesting they didn't take. Um, Yeah, and then we'll just go get a... Yeah, I mean, they could move all they want, but, um, you know... We're just going to get a queen ourselves, and not looking good for them. So queen. They're in check. Now we've got two queens. This should be fairly easy. Uh, let's just move here. Uh, yeah. So watch out for stalemates. Um, yeah, and then we should just be able to move down here. And yeah, we should be able to get a checkmate here pretty easily. So uh, let's just go with um, this kind of checkmate. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Uh, let's see. So if we go here, I believe this is checkmate. Um, yeah, there we go. So, all right, nice win. Thanks, uh, Pro Kabiek. <laughs> all right, so, yeah, we we are free to analyze this game. We get one game review per day. Now, I definitely didn't make, like, the best moves, but let's just click over here. Uh, basically, that's the part I want to show you guys is the end game, um, in particular. Um... So let's see how we did here. Um, yeah, yeah, not not very good at all. Only 52 accuracy. But the key here, I mean, the opening was just kind of, you know, kind of normal. Um, so the opening was pretty normal. Next move. Yeah, this is for the most part by the book. Now, they said that was a questionable move. I actually liked it because, I mean, it shuts off the bishop. And I was kind of just saying, you know, hey, how, we had the bishop cornered. Um, and also it kind of attacks over here. But 
apparently they don't like that move. Um, what was the best one recommended? Oh, okay. They just want yeah, just develop the bishop is what uh, uh, Stockfish is saying, or like <laughs> main recommendation. You know, just develop that, get control of all these dark squares. I still like that move, but apparently it's you know not too good. Anyway, most of this is simple. Um, opportunity to win the knight. Oh, I see. So what would? Oh, okay. So if we do that, yeah, that, it's actually pretty good. Yeah, uh, yeah. You just get a free knight, and yeah, pretty easy. This knight's shut down. It can only go here, here, here. Yeah. So, okay, I see that. I see that. Uh, and apparently that was a blunder right there, um, because what's the best move they say? Oh, yeah, you just move the... But I didn't want these pawns to move because there are long-term weaknesses this queen can use to just kind of... That's a good move, though. That's a good move. I just went by putting on the pressure here by pinning the knight to the to the king, which did matter kind of in the game because, like, long-term, we just kept piling up on this knight. So I guess a lot of these moves aren't going to be the best, but, um, yeah, it kind of worked out, you know. So, um Again, we're basically creating pressure along this file the entire game. Uh, what's the best move here? Uh, oh, just sliding, yeah, putting the king in check. That's it's kind of a normal move. Um, best move there. Uh, the, oh, yeah, they're just saying attack. Attack with the queen and, okay, you know, <laughs> I see that, you know. Uh, and then here, I saw the tactic. This is the main thing I wanted to point out to you guys is we had the... You know, the file lined up. I basically baited them by taking their pawn. Um, and then they say that's not the best move. But it worked out because, you know, they took with that rook, which I thought they would do. Took with, And then we took back. They slid this, which left their queen wide open. Uh, the computer recommends. Yeah, that is a pretty good move. I didn't see that one. Um, and yeah, you just pin the... Uh, queen to the king, and you're taking this no matter what. That is pretty good. Yeah, just slide the slide the rook, and then your king is so exposed, you just attack from there and win. Um, and then after you take the queen, you're free to take the... Well, I, I see, I see. So, I mean, it, our, our game kind of worked out. I mean, I didn't see that. We were kind of low on time. But that's fine. I mean, the move we made is still was still pretty good. Yeah, because you slide with the rook, uh, they still say, I'm, I'm sure they're still saying the best move is just kind of not that you just slide right over, you know, that's definitely probably still the best, um, move. So, uh, anyway, that's what actually happened in the game. Yeah. We just take the queen. So, uh, yeah. So, and then from there, uh, we all saw what happened. So, uh, yeah, you just take the, you know, <laughs> you get the fork, you take the rook, um, yeah, again, that's again. I know I wasn't making the best in-game moves. The main thing I was trying to do here, since we were low on time, is just kind of control this area of the board. Yeah, you know, so, um, yeah, probably not the best in-game moves by me either. But, you know, yeah, and again, I saw they were headed for this and to have the king support, but I just cut this off because they were doubled up and then get the promoted queen and, you know, you're good to go, so... Yeah, so there you go. Not a perfect game, but, you know, we got that one. So there you go. All right. And that, that was honestly a good a good game right there. So, all right. So let's close this. Um, and let's go back to the home page, and we'll play another little 10-minute game. So, all right. <laughs> there we go. And... Uh, yeah, same here, pro. Same here. <laughs> yep. Hey, yeah, I uh, appreciate you being here, uh, pro Kabiak. Yeah, and um, I'm kind of yeah the same. Um, yeah. I hope you have a good rest and uh. You know, best of luck on your games and like, hey, I know I'm new. Like, we can all, we all got something we can learn. So, <laughs> so yep. And it's just, it's just fun to play, and uh, we'll both keep getting better and better. So, have a good night. All right. <laughs> Thank you.
All right, so let's uh, yeah, just hit ten minute game and uh, let's see if we can get a opponent here. Um, okay, so we're going first. Let's just do this first. Uh, to e4, pawn to e4. Let's see what they go with here. Um, sometimes they'll just match you, kind of move for move. So, right. Uh, Jonah Matz. Okay. All right. Well, best of luck to our opponent here. And let's see what I can do here. So. All right. And let me minimize. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right. And oh, it says it's gonna auto abort. So I don't know. Jonah may be, you know, kind of getting used to the website, or <laughs> maybe Jonah wants to go first. Practicing. Okay, okay, there they go. And then um, let's just attack the pawn, you know, right away. It's undefended. So, okay. Smart move by them. Um, I'll just move the bishop right here. And honestly, we're ready to castle pretty early here. Um, I have to watch out for some traps and stuff. I guess this pawn could be a problem. Um, that's an interesting move. Let's just castle. Yeah, I mean, got to castle early. I see. That's not too bad of a move. Um... Let's go here with the bishop. I don't think I'll get trapped. But yeah, this move should be fine. Not a move that would normally be made, but um Okay. And an interesting move I can do here is do this because yeah, they can take it back with the knight, but then I both take the bishop and then put pressure on the rook. So this might be a more interesting game than usual. Okay, they didn't see that. So that's not a problem. Um, that means we got this move for free. Um, boy, this knight can actually... We'll probably just go back, honestly. Um, yeah, let's just move back to... Well, no, no, no. Let's just take the knight, actually. Yeah, let's take the knight. Let's let's just trade knights here. Um and interesting, I could take that knight. Um But I like what this bishop's doing. So let's just go here. Let's just go back. Let's just go back. So keep the bishop. Um and yeah. <laughs> Alright. See. See what they decide to do here. What Jonah decides to do. Oh, they already moved. They moved right here. Okay. Well, see, now that they did that, <laughs> this pawn's undefended, but we can just slide the rook. Pretty easy move. Um. Oh, yeah, nice bishop trap there. I should have noticed that. Um. That's okay, though. One thing I will do is, like, let that pawn have that. But um, I'm actually going to go for a pretty interesting strategy here. Putting the king in check early. But yeah, they take that, which is fine. We can take this, and then yeah, king's in check already. So probably just gonna slide the bishop up, but still. <laughs> oh, they actually moved the king. Wow. Um. Well, this pawn is gonna be captured no matter what. Um. Yeah, let's just keep the pressure on the king. Actually, put it in check again. See what they do. They'll probably just take the pawn. They did not. Wow. Um, well, this pawn's a hero. Um, and I will. They probably could have just taken it with the knight. But, well, all things considered, I'll put the king in. Almost went here and put it in check. That would have been a big misplay. But all things considered, I'll just move here with the queen. And that's the pawn should be gone with the knight or something. Uh, that's That's a move too. Yeah. So. Okay, and then I will move this knight here. So Again, this pawn can't really go. It is kind of strange to see it here at this stage of the game, but not too big of a problem or anything. 
it's just weird to see that, you know, so, um, yeah, it's on now. Okay, that's the right move. I kind of um, see what they're doing here. But yeah, let's just queen trade. Um, not too many ways to get out of that one. Um, okay, so let's go with... Let's start developing our own pieces. Let's get this piece right here. And we'll go from there. So, All right. And eventually I'll take this pawn. It's just right now there's no need to hurry. Um, this is being attacked. What can I do about it? Um, yeah, pretty easily. I can just kind of defend it here with this rook. So there you go. Had to make sure I wasn't on the diagonal here. So there's that knight. Yeah, that's pretty smart. I mean, I can both defend and attack the knight. So, you know, there's that. Also, I could have put the king in check. That was another good move. Um, but yeah, okay, coming in with the pawn. Now, I'm just going to basically block off this pawn and chase the knight away. So, what I'm going to do is go right here. There we go. And then the knight should move somewhere. <laughs> you know, that's not here. Yeah, so there's that. Um. Again, we can chase the knight again. Um, but let's just try to slide in here and attack the rook and see if they notice. So move right here. Um, just making sure there's no tricks from the knight, like a fork or something with the rook. I guess that pawn is, un is under double attack. But, you know, this is a big threat. This is a threat right here. So they kind of got to deal with that. Somehow. Um, this knight's also defending the rook check. That's smart. Yeah, um, I will take the rook, though. Just to be free from that. Mm, yeah. Okay. And then that knight is there. Knight's doing pretty good, honestly. Um, let's move. Right here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Smart. Yep. It's a very smart move. Um, unfortunately for them, I can just take with the bishop. And but yeah, pawn for a bishop, that's a good trade. And they can take with the knight if they want, or you know, it doesn't really matter. Um interesting. So we basically got rid of that pawn for free. I guess they didn't see that they could just take this, um, which is interesting, because that means I can now defend this knight with the bishop that's under attack. So, slight misplay? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> and yeah, so... Yeah, slight misplay for them. Um, that's a good move, just trying to control this. Um, what should I do here? Let's... Pile up on this knight, because this knight is undefended. Let me move right here. Yeah. Good move. All right. Let's see what they do here. Eh, okay. Just kind of shuffling around. Um, This knight's about to be trapped, I think. Well, they can go back and forth, I guess. But let's try to trap it. Yeah, because from here it really has no choice as far as where to move. So basically got to go back. Well, I guess it can go here. No, it can't. It basically has to go back. Yeah. I don't want to get too much repetition, but because you can get a draw by repetition. But yeah, I don't know what they're thinking with that one. Um, Interesting. So they're just going to give us the night for free. Um, I don't see any traps or anything, so I guess we'll just take it. I guess they didn't just see it like, oh, hey, I can just go back and, you know. <laughs> um, let's move this knight here. Yeah, I guess. Um, okay. Not too bad. Um, they missed a fork there with the, well, I guess the bishop's defending it. But, um... 
Yeah, that's interesting. Let's hop the knight around some more. Pop our knight this way. Okay. So this file's now blocked off, interestingly enough. Uh, the rook is under attack. I did notice that. So I guess let's slide right here. Yeah. Good. And we're going to try to fork the bishop and the king. That's what we're trying to do. That, that's the big threat. That's the big threat right there. Kind of smart. I figured they would slide up and, you know. But that's fine. Let's try to... Can't go in here. But let's just, again, just attack this bishop. See what happens. Um, I don't see anything. Well, I guess we're actually forking right here. Yeah, because we can also take this pawn. So that's kind of good. Again, I'm sure they can move whatever they want um, to defend. But, uh, yeah, not a bad fork. <laughs> uh, let's pull up my chat here. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay. Um, it's on them. I'm sure they're thinking. Uh, we also have a big fork. Ooh, they didn't see that one. So here's the big fork, a triple fork. We got a fork on the rook, the bishop, and the king. So a big fork right there. That's probably going to determine the game. No matter what, we get a free piece here. So and they have to move. Yeah, so we'll just take, um, we'll just take this bishop for free. But, yeah, that's a big tempo swing right there. Also, the king is now awkwardly lined up in front of the rook. <laughs> kind of sh sh shutting your, themselves down. Okay, they move it back. But, again, they move right back into the same fork. So, bad move by black. Yeah, and <laughs> we just move right back and fork, and then the rook is gone. So, that knight really put in work. Um... And from here, I'll offer a bishop trade, yeah, because why not? <laughs> We've gotten rid of, like, two other pieces with that knight. Um, that's unbelievable. Um, let's move. Well, this pawn's free, so might as well take it. Um, it's not looking good for black. Um, wow. Okay, smart move there. They step out of the fork and defend all at the same time. Uh, the problem is their king's kind of cut off here. Um, let's just move, um, let's attack this pawn back here. Yeah, because I don't know how they defend that. Um, yeah, and then let's just go, go this way. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess that does defend it. But if I move right here, I kind of force the bishop to just kind of give it up. And then, yeah, or it, they got to do something. I mean, they'll probably move away, like right here or something. but. This pawn's mine, so, yeah, pretty interesting. Let's see what they do. Okay, yeah, they do just take it. Yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to happen. Um, now, they'll probably activate their king. I should activate my king, because it is getting toward the end game here. Um, but first, I'm going to take these pawns out of the way. That's the easiest way for us to win. Since we have the rook, yeah, just get these pawns out of the way, and then just kind of move forward here. Um, I will cut off the king from the pawns. So let me move right here for the rook. And then, um, okay, they're just sliding back and forth. So I'll move down here for the rook and take this. And then, yeah, our rook has nice control of the, uh, yeah, stopping the king from coming down in here. Yeah, that's fine. Um, we'll just trade. Um, but yeah, the king can't support because the rook's going to cut off. And so from here, we just move this pawn <laughs> and just go, 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 go. And it should be game. So except draw. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, we will not. Um, <laughs> and they resign. Uh, yeah, pretty interesting game. Um, I'm sure there were some better moves we could have made there. Yeah, three blunders. Um, but overall, that knight kind of uh, put in a lot of work, turned it around. and. Got the, the triple fork, and then we took the bishop. Then they stepped back into the fork, and then we took the uh, the rook. And I think that's what won that one. Um, yeah, the triple fork there at the end. Knights can be very deadly. So just watch out for that, man. That's uh, <laughs> scary. Knights are scary, scary, scary.
um, no matter what stage of the game. You know, basically, if you see your opponent's knight, what you need to think is like, man, can they make a fork? Or like, if you're moving your pieces, you need to think like, hey, I want to move my rook here, but am I going to step into a fork? Is it chow time? Yeah. <laughs> My uh my old chess instructor had a phrase like, "Hey, is it chow time?" <laughs> and like, what he meant by that is just you think about your opponent's knight and just say, "Hey, am I gonna allow them to fork?" Like allowing someone to triple fork is bad, but um stepping back into a fork is also that just happened. That literally just happened is also pretty pretty bad. So again, we don't have the diamond, but um yeah, that's basically the game review on that one. That I can tell you guys is like, yeah, just watch out for your opponent's knights also. And then just keep an eye on like, hey, can my knight make a fork? You know, can we uh, can we have some chow time? Yeah. All right. So let's play one more game. And then um, I think that'll be it for the evaluation today. So we're now 675. That's an interesting opening move. There's some things you can do with that opening move. Um, we're, gonna, we're just going to control the center right here. Um, yeah, pawns under attack. We just immediately defend it with this. So, pretty interesting opening by them. Um, yeah, let's just push by right here. Attacking the knight. Um, yeah. Interesting. There are some, and they do have control of a lot of things with these pawns. Um, the problem for them is... is we're going to control more of the center than they are. Uh, yeah, here, I'll just strike right here because, uh, yeah, um, that's just pretty good. Um, yeah, they can take that. I can take back with the queen, so not too much to worry about. Um, also, this pawn is just free now. So it's a free pawn uh, unless they do so. I mean, I guess that does defend it. Um, but, yeah, uh, what I'm going to do here is make sure there's no forks, you know, kind of like I was just talking about. So where can this knight move? It can move here. It can move here. It can move back here. So the knight's almost trapped. So I'm going to make a move that I normally don't make at this stage. No, 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 never mind. Let's just develop our knight and just keep attacking this. Let's just develop our knight, you know. Um, I was just going to move this and actually try to trap the knight, but, um, no, let's just develop. Let's just, you know, again, this pawn's under attack. Um, I could actually push by and like lock things up, which is somewhat interesting, but instead I think I'll just, you know, clear the, yeah, take the piece, clear that. Um, yeah. And from here, um, this is basically a free pawn. Um, so I think what we'll do is let's move this bishop here, and I might cancel queen side. Let's move it right here. Um, no, let's move it right here, because I kind of want to castle soon. Um, I guess I do have to watch out for this move by the knight, um, because that is pretty good for them, for black. Um, but yeah. Okay, queen's under attack. I basically have to move. Um, but one move we can do, which is interesting. Ooh, no, I can't because the knight, uh, yeah. I was going to say I, I could shut down the king, um, but no. Uh, let's just go back, yeah. I guess let's go back right here. Make sure I'm not stepping into any forks or anything. I don't think so. Well, let's just go right here. You, this is usually a pretty safe place. Uh, well, that knight could come in, kind of like I was talking about. No, so let's move right here. Move right here. They'll probably attack the queen again. Yeah, yeah, I figured that was coming. Um, one thing I can do, which is very interesting, actually, is put the king in check and be safe from the knights. So, not a mo but board state you see every day, but that's uh, this is a fork. The weirdest queen fork I've ever seen. But it's a fork, and um, they'll probably defend with the bishop, but uh, yeah. <laughs> That's a weird one. That's a weird one, guys. 
That's a first for me. Um, the queen double knight sandwich. Now that's a good move. You put it back, but you self pin the knight. So I guess you do save the knight, you know. But uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's just castle here, and uh, yeah, there you go. You, what I like about that is it also puts the rook right here, so it's adding pressure to this pawn and getting our king safe many tricks at the same time so now this knight can attack um that's an interesting move it blocks off the queen which means this pawn is just free um yeah so i think what we do is we start by taking the knight yeah and that pawn is just straight up free um so yeah, let's take the the knight with the bishop. Normally a move I wouldn't make, but um, you guys will see why I want to do that. Because their king is free to castle. But if we take with the queen, yeah, and that's fine, that's fine. I'm not going to take the queen trade. If we take with the queen, we actually cut them off from castling. So well, that's a thing. Um, now I do have to watch out because... Yeah, that's fine. Because they got the queen, they got the bishop over here. They can open up some tactics over here. But, um, yeah, they can't castle. So, yeah, I don't know what black's, what white's going to do about that. Um, But, yeah, let's see what they do here. Also, I got to watch out for, like, discovered attacks on my queen. For example, the knight could move here, you know, back to where it was earlier. And just kind of attack my queen, you know, subtly. So I got to watch out for moves like that. Also, that knight move kind of sets up the queen battery over here. So kind of an interesting move, honestly, for them. I don't know if they'll see it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, knight right here is actually a really good move. Um, so, yeah. And they are thinking, you know, and I would be too at this juncture. This is a pretty critical turn. Okay, okay, there's that. So my king's in check. Um, what will I do? I'll probably just slide over. Um, let's see here. I'm trying to think if I can block with anything. I cannot. Yeah, let's just slide over. Um, you know. Yeah, let's just slide over and go from there. Now, I do have to watch out, like I said, over here. Um, the good part is we kind of shutting down the queen by having our queen here. from just kind of sliding over here and setting up some dangerous stuff. Knight here is probably coming next. If they see it, if they see it, it's probably, you know, but they are only 694, so I don't know if they'll see that one. But yeah, the knight right here to both attack and set up like a... Um, a uh, basically, a double attack over here is pretty good for them. Um, okay, they just go back. This is a odd looking move, but um, anyway, let's um, what shall we do? Let's just develop this knight. What's nice is we want to eventually develop all these pieces anyway, and um, I could also just start putting the king in check. Uh, sometimes it's just a good idea to just do that, and stuff will open up. But I'm going to develop this knight and attack this, you know, at the same time. So, again, just kind of wanted to get that knight developed anyway. Um, I'm sure they'll attack the queen somehow here. Uh, pretty Yeah, see, that's mm -hmm, not too bad. Um, but what we can do is pin the this to the king to where this can't move. Um, so if we just go back here, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, there may be a, a big move I'm missing, but yeah, if so, not a big deal, you know. Basically, we're just saying, hey, I want this bishop. <laughs> you know, and there may be other moves available, but this bishop's undefended, so... <laughs> You know, I don't mind all the action that's going on in the background here. Um, so, yeah, if I missed a move there or blundered, not really a big deal. You know, um, 
I guess a good move for them would have been pawn right here. That kind of defends. Um, we're going to get a free pawn here. Um, yeah, so we'll just take it. We'll just, well, actually, <laughs> what am I saying? I, you know how I said that would be a good move for them? Let's just do this. <laughs> yeah, now their own bishop is blocked in by their own pawn. Very awkward. Um, but we're basically telling the bishop, you're getting captured. Um, I guess I could move way back here, but, uh, yeah, or there. But again, the problem for them is still, like, yeah. Um, what's nice is I can move in the knight to just shut it down again. And also it gets my knight on a pretty good square, so. Yeah, let's do that. Let's move it right here and go from there. Uh, cause I, I just didn't want it to come in here and cause some problems. So again, this move has just been waiting for them right here. Uh, it's a pretty solid move, honestly. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, well, I guess if they did that now though, I'd have a free bishop. So that maybe that's not the best move, but you know, let's check on chat here real quick. Uh, okay, not too much happening. Timer's still on them. Okay, yeah, they, they finally did it. They finally did it. The problem is, is like now, this is just a free bishop. So, yeah, they did a little too late. So, also, we're attacking the rook. I guess that's a, uh, yeah. I don't know if they'll see that one. Uh, let's hope they don't see it, and then this queen will be putting in some work. Um, yeah. Okay, they just kind of slid over. Uh, yeah, this is a free rook. So, we'll take that. Um, this is a free pawn. So, yeah, the queens are just so good toward the end of the game. So dangerous. Um, I, mean, I could have looked for another move here, too, since I had the knight. And, in fact, I can look for it right now. So, we can do what's called a discovered attack. You see how the rooks lined up on the king? That means we can move this knight wherever we want. So and put the king in check. So let's move here. And what I'm threatening to do is just take this knight. Um, I could also move here, and it'll be double check. So they have to move the king. Yeah, let's just take this pawn. Uh, double check knight and rook. They have to move. Um, and it's not looking good for white. Um. Yeah, they can't move here. I guess I can move here. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty good move. Uh, but we got this pawn for free, basically. Um, now, what I am going to do right here is actually fork the queen and the bishop. Uh, oh, and also the queen's free over here. I just noticed that. Okay, guys. So we'll take the free queen. And it's not looking good for white. Yeah, so from here... We should just be able to... Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they resigned. Um, took me a little while to see that free queen over there. But, like, you know, I was still making good moves. <clears throat> but I was just basically... I saw all the forks. All the forks with my queen. And then, uh, yeah, yeah. I finally... My eyes finally opened. I was just like, oh, I have this bishop sitting back here that I kind of had opened up. And their queen had slid to the wrong square. And, yeah, the the... the, the I guarantee you two of the blunders were uh, Stockfish just saying, hey, bro, just take the queen. Just take the queen. And I mean, but that rook was free. That pawn was free with checks. So maybe those were the best moves. Maybe not. I don't know. But um, yeah, just look for basically like when you get your queen in a good position, you know, kind of like we had it. It was in the central of the board. We had other pieces surrounding it. Yeah, just look for forks and look for... You know, and I saw that tactic where they had the bishop here, right here. And, you know, they really should have attacked my queen with the pawn at the right time. But they waited till their own bishop was right here on, uh, yeah, this right here. And they waited till they had double bishops, which that was kind of bad. Because when they did attack with the pawn on my queen, which was right here, they undefended their bishop. And that really just kind of broke the game open. Um, because like I, I saw that that bishop was undefended. I was just like, okay, and let's hope they don't see the rook. They didn't see the rook. They slid over here, <laughs> putting their king queen under attack. 
and letting me, you know, uh, fork with the queen over here, taking the rook and putting the king in check. Just kind of snowballed from there. Um, and then we got the free double check with the knight. Um, yeah, so that's really the game review on that one. Uh, yeah, thanks for being here, guys. We're now 722. Uh, yeah, and we'll continue the rating evaluation another time. Uh, but yeah, thanks for being here, guys. Um, I don't really know any uh, popular chess streamers. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this um, chess evaluation. And yeah, just, um, yeah, the, the key things we went over today is just, you know, knights. Just look out for knights. Um, and also look out for your opponent, like, setting up moves with the knight, you know, because that does happen a lot where your opponent will make a move that's just like, oh, you know, this piece isn't really doing anything. But they're setting up a knight to be, like, on an outpost or to fork or to triple fork. You know, so think about that. Think about that when you're moving your own pieces. That's really the key takeaways here. Is forks. I mean, because we saw forks today a lot. Um, all pieces can fork. And just, you know, when you're making a move, just think like, oh, am I about to step into a fork? Um, am I about to allow my opponent a good fork? Um, is it is it chow time? Is it chow time? <laughs> That's the way my old chess instructor taught me. Just like, is it chow time? Is it about to be chow time? Are we, are we washing our hands? <laughs> are we getting ready for dinner? Am I about to, you know, clear the table for them and allow them the opponent to have chow time because we don't want the opponent to have chow time we want to eat good you know we want chow time so yeah that's that's the way i my old chess instructor teaches about forks he's just like chow time think chow time so uh but yeah thanks for that everyone and um i'll see you later <laughs> bye bye <laughs> have a good day <laughs> bye bye <laughs>